Well, hello again all the boys and girls out there in YouTube land watching Georgia Beer Reviews back at you today with another one. And what I'm looking at is a beer from Treehouse Brewing Company. This is Coco. It is a beer. <laughs> it is the Julius, which is their, it's a classic beer that they make. Uh, it's an IPA. 6.8%. Uh, so it's their regular Julius, which is, it has the, the flavor profile in a lot of ways of an orange Julius, very juicy IPA. So it's the Julius conditioned atop a heavy dose of toasted coconut. That was the selling point for me. So orange and coconut flavors. Um, yeah, I love coconut. And I'm really looking forward to trying this. So 6.8% alcohol, cocoa from Treehouse Brewing Company, Charlton, Mass. This was canned just a couple weeks ago. All right. Very excited about this one, guys. Let's go ahead and pour it up. I have had the Julius. I don't think I actually uh, did a video review of that yet, but that's one of their well-known beers it's a year-round offering this is a special limited release i think it was a two can limit per customer so of course i bought the two cans and that's what she looks like orange juice with a head i mean it is just bright orange i feel like the camera's not really even doing it justice it is opaque as well when you hold it up to the light you can't see through it. I mean, you can see just a little bit of the light kind of lighting up the, the orange and making it glow a little bit, but you, you, can't, you can't see through that. One finger white, kind of a cross between a frothy and creamy head. It's actually kind of a slightly off-white head. Okay, the aroma. Definitely getting that orange Julius type note right up front on the nose a little bit of that coconut but not as much as i was hoping for on the nose probably with the toasted coconut hopefully anyway it'll come through a little bit more on the palate a little bit of like a wheat bready malt note Very juicy. There's some tropical fruit in there as well. I feel like with this one, I'm getting more pineapple. But yeah, the, the orange notes, the, the tangerine, citrus, orange Julius type effect is definitely still kind of in the lead with just a slight coconut. The more I smell it, the more of that coconut starting to come through, but it's it's tough initially to get through the orange notes to get to that. So it smells absolutely delightful. I'm really hoping that some more coconut comes through on the nose. I mean, on the palate. But it smells absolutely delightful. I am salivating. So without further ado, let's get into this brew. Cheers. Oh, wow. Yep, that toasted coconut is coming through. It's interesting, though. I'm used to having coconut in, like, porters and stouts, but not this much in an IPA. It really plays off of the orange notes, that orange Julius-type flavor profile that you get from the Julius. And the toasted coconut gives it a little nuttiness, gives it a little bit of um, almost like a vanilla effect. It's really enjoyable, but it's not at all what I was expecting. The coconut and the orange notes really play off of one another and just create a very smooth, flavorful, easy drink and brew. And this is one of the lower, this is not a double, at 6.8%. You could drink a few of these. Most of the stuff I've been drinking from Treehouse lately, like double and triple IPAs. This is actually one of the lowest alcohol treehouse beers that I've had. 
over the last few months. Let's get another sip. Mm. Oh, yeah. Man, this is really nice, and it's different. It's unique. You know, some of the treehouse brews, you know, you get the, the hazy, the very hazy, the green, the very green, the hurricane, the, um, the what else? Um, some of the other Julius varieties, the Emperor Julius, the King Julius, all these double IPAs, juicy IPAs. They're all excellent and they're all, you know, top notch, but it gets difficult to really kind of differentiate between some of those because they're all just all glass double IPAs with a lot of tropical fruit, a lot of citrus, a lot of just really nice um, flavor notes. This one, it, it's kind of set apart from a lot of those other ones because the toasted coconut and the way that it plays off of the, the orange notes in the beer it's really, it's really nice. That toasted coconut is really, really nice with this one. Mm. Oh man. And on the back end, there's a little bit more bitterness than with some of the other uh, brews that I've had from Treehouse recently. Not that this is a bitter beer by any stretch of the imagination, but it does have a nice little bite to it on the back end to kind of round out some of those juicy notes and then the nuttiness with the coconut and that vanilla effect that you get. This is really dynamite. I absolutely am loving this beer. Uh, the body is medium. The carbonation is probably low medium. Uh, it's It's got almost like a creamy, fluffy type mouthfeel going on. Uh, and the finish is, it's got a nice little bite. It's not super bitter, but it does have just a slight bittering finish and bite to kind of round it out. Uh, of course, none of the alcohol is coming through at 6.8%. It's one of the lower ABV treehouse beers that I've had in quite a while. So there's no alcohol presence to speak of whatsoever. This is dynamite. For me, this is in the world-class range. Uh, it's not just because it's an amazing beer in general, like, you know, New England style IPA, which treehouse makes some of the best out there period, but the uniqueness of it with that toasted coconut and how that plays into the flavor profile and interacts with the hops, I find it very, very just enjoyable. It's an awesome, awesome brew. So I'm going 98 out of 100 for the Cocoa from Treehouse Brewing Company. Uh, buy it, try it, let me know what you guys think. That's a world-class rating for me, 98 out of 100. Absolutely a must try if you can get Treehouse beers in your area. Limited release, um, limited two cans per customer per visit. So get it while you can. The date on this is still very fresh. So I think they're still making it maybe through the end of the year. Uh, so you should be able to get it if you have a tree a treehouse location near you. Go pick this one up while you can. It is awesome. If you don't like coconut, don't pick it up. But as a coconut lover and New England IPA lover, I can't help but absolutely adore this beer. So 98 out of 100. Bye, try it. Let me know what you think in the comments below. That'll do it for this beer review, guys. A world-class beer from Treehouse. Um, hope you're all having a wonderful day. And until next time, everybody, cheers.